Um, you're Oliver uh, Himes, and just tell me, you know, your position with the company. How long you've been here? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm the marketing manager here at Goka. I've been I joined the company in October of last year, and uh, no, it's been very, very fun. I worked for the Taranio family before that for about a year and a half, and uh, the family's been in cigars my whole life, so. I'm glad to be a part of the industry. So, mm -hmm. and it's uh, the the new 125th anniversary cigar. You want to tell me a little bit about? Yeah, that? this year, um, I see you've probably seen a lot of our packaging. Uh, 1887 um, is the year when kind of Gurkha's soldiers first enjoyed the Gurkha cigar. So, we are celebrating that in 2012, and to commemorate, we've come out with a very special um, anniversary cigar. Um, it's over. You'll see it um, in the display case. Comes in four sizes. Uh, it has a Cubra Habano wrapper, really nice looking wrapper. Um, it has an Ecuadorian Habano um, binder and then really complex filler of Dominican, Nicaraguan and Brazilian tobaccos. We wanted to create very medium body, very kind of classic smoke. It's got very smooth, the flavor changes uh, as it goes through and uh, the packaging is, um, Kaizad, our owner, is obviously big on packaging as well and he's, uh, each box is hand carved by uh, mango wood, made hand, hand carved with brass fittings and uh, yeah, I think, I uh, hope you enjoy it, I hope the feedback yeah. so far has been really positive and then our other new launch is the, the Ghost, which um, you'll see is, uh, kind of stands out with the packaging, it's a really good cigar, it's full of flavor, uh, has a Brazilian Araparaca Maduro, you know, Criollo binder and uh, Nicaraguan Dominican filler, so we're really happy about both of those and so far the feedback's been great. Sounds good. So 125 years, that applies to, uh, I guess, the establishment of the brand, uh, what Kaiser bought it what, back in the late Yeah, I mean, uh, some people have said, yeah, I mean, no, Kaiser bought the company um, in 1989. That's when he first went. But the actual Gurkha cigar, like colonial soldiers from that era, from the British uh, rule, that's when they first, you know, tobacco would come over from uh, on trading ships in the Caribbean. And then they would first start making, enjoying the, the cigars in that time, which they named them Gurkhas, which was in 1887. So, uh, yeah, it's not this so much the 125th anniversary of the company, but we're actually celebrating the tobacco, the, the cigar of Gurkhas. Oh, okay. so. Well, thank you very much. Very